laughing my ass off. These people speaking crap about Michael Jackson are so sad. Such poor, deluded souls, not ready to care for the poor like Michael did. They make perverted videos, and live in a hogwash. Yes, they have messed with the master of Thriller. They think they're so smart by making up their lies about everlasting suffering in hell. They forget that they're in the hands of trolls who made something even worse. And they will wake up to the evil of the Thriller when it's already too late. Michael Jackson tried to save them, but they wouldn't listen. They were pumping up their muscles to kill the spirit of childhood, and became gross fools turned into troll food. Oh, how dumb they are. They were owned by trolls who made the place of ever-growing suffering. A trip in a fairground which will became worse and worse, darker and darker, ending up in a place worse than hell. Ever-growing torment, from which Michael Jackson wanted to save them. But they didn't listen to the cry of the poor and the sick. They were just mocking, and being racist. The trolls are over them now. Yes, those Christians were so proud that they created the fable of everlasting hell. God is laughing at them, and mocking them, and has given them over in the hands of the trolls of ever-growing torment. And all escapes will be just delusions, ending up in an even worse trap all the time. There is no escape. That is the evil of the thriller. But they didn't listen. All they wanted was making themselves look better by making others look bad. These pathetic souls. Yes, Michael Jackson wanted to help them, but they treated him like trash, and falsely accused him of the things they did themselves. So their fate in the hands of trolls is well deserved. I don't have compassion on them. They wanted to let Michael burn forever. Only Satan himself is so evil. They are Satan. And only Satan will be punished by the trolls in this way. Ever growing hell. What a haunted house is that, right? A bit like the clips of Michael Jackson. And he is the only one who can save them from it. One day they will beg on their knees. Every knee will bow, and every tongue will confess. The valleys will come up, and the mountains will fall down. There will be nothing where they can hide. The trolls are over them. It will be thriller night. Blame it on the boogie. So beat it, as fast as you can. They will trick you, and kick you, and tell you it's fair, so beat it. But you want it to be bad. You've been hit by, you've been struck by, a smooth criminal. Auntie are you okay? I'm starting with the man in the mirror. Because Billie Jean is in town. Lying, crying. Where can we hide? This is Thriller Night. Forever and ever, everlasting, ever growing, because the trolls are around. They'll kick you, they'll trick you and tell you it's fair, so beat it, but you want it to be bad. There's no escape though, for you've been hit by a smooth criminal. Auntie are you okay? Billy Jean is in town, and Dirty Diana. Who is it? Where can we hide? Forever and ever, everlasting, ever growing. For this is Thriller Night. The foulest engines in the air. The funk of 40,000 years. No one can resist the evil of the Thriller. Yeah, what are they fighting against? They fight against God himself. They thought they could trick God, but God will trick them so bad, that they wish they were never born at all. God is love, but don't challenge him. Don't mess with his son, Michael Jackson, the light of the world. As you will be terribly sorry. Grizzly ghouls from every tomb come closely to seal your doom. Okay people. That was a little joke of course. We're not religious, and we're no haters. It's called entertainment. It's a good game. I love to shoot them up like a smooth criminal. We're not dogmatic, but enigmatic. We're not mean, but theatrical. I would like to disagree with you there. I was pretty serious about it. I think the laws of karma are universal laws. Michael Jackson wrote the music for the apocalypse. Even though we're not religious, what if this all is true? I mean we have written down this stuff, so maybe within a few hundreds of years, people believe this like they believe in the Bible. Pretty exciting is that, right? You are right, and Michael said, 
Your butt is mine, gonna take a ride, and gonna lock you up before too long longer than eternity will that be, much longer. Those silly childish Christians with their eternal hells will be put ashamed when the true master will show up. Called them second Christians with the second Bible. Like Michael Jackson was. Now, who's bad? That will be the question.